Let's take a look at three different masks that I have in my arsenal and why you might want them in yours as well. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So the first one up on the list is the Soda Beams Carbon 6 Mass. I absolutely love this mass because of its compact size. It is easy to drop in any backpack. So that's its biggest advantage. The downside to this one is it's not a real beefy mass. So the very top section has a lot of play to it. So we can't use uh, heavier antennas with this mast quite as easy as we can a couple of the others that I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. If you're going to use an in-fed half wave and just run the wire through the tip of this mast, then you will be fine. If you want to put a roll-up J-pole on it with some uh, really lightweight coax, like some uh, RG174, you'll be fine with this. Anything heavier though, and you're going to start to get a lot of flex in the top of this mast. Deploying it uh, is pretty easy. I do it a couple of different ways. I've used a holder like you see on the front of the Jeep here and just slide this down through it. The problem is, is I've never uh, created a bushing for this with the 3D printer, so it kind of wobbles around a bit and can get a little bit annoying, but does work in a pinch. Another thing you can do is just uh, tie the end of the in-fed half-wave wire to this and prop this guy up in a tree. That's another fantastic solution. One last solution that I have used, but it uh, kind of defeats the purpose of taking this mast along. If you had a really small T-post, you could drive it into the ground and then put this mast next to the T-post and tie it off with a couple of uh, elastic straps and hold that together that way. The problem is, is that T-post kind of defeats uh, the purpose of carrying this super small and lightweight mast. The second one up on the list is the Green Mast by TN07. And this is by far my favorite mast. Now, you're not gonna drop it in a backpack. It is roughly four feet tall, I believe like 44 inches or something along those lines when it's fully collapsed. But this has a lot more heft to it and you can hoist a lot heavier antennas into the air with it. So you'll have no problems putting a dipole antenna up with this. And if you take a couple of sections out of the top of it, you can even hold up the Elk Log Periodic antenna uh, fairly well with this. Now this one uh, does require a little bit more to uh, support it. So that's where I really am a big fan of something like this mass holder that's on the front of my Jeep. By the way, guys, if you're interested in something like this, it's on the front of my Jeep. This is also made by TN07, uh, but it is a special order item. If you want one, if you've got a winch and want to hold it on like I'm doing here, reach out to those guys by phone and they can get you hooked up with one. Now for the green mass, what I've done is I have created a bushing and printed it out with a 3D printer so that it slides down in here and holds this one and keeps this one from wiggling around. And I'll show you why I need this larger type mass holder here in just a minute. But like I was saying, this one is super rigid. And guys, also this mast is beat to death because I've had this thing for about five years. I can't tell you how many times I've had it out into the field. But as you can see, this is a much more capable top section than what you saw with the Carbon 6 mast. So if you're traveling by car uh, and can handle the extra length and the extra weight of this particular mast, this is by far my favorite mast to use. Last but not least is the fiberglass mask that I have. Now this one is super beefy. I also picked this one up from TN07 and they have these available on their website. But this big boy will handle just about whatever you can throw at it. The length of this one is 22 feet, I believe, and they make these all the way up to 50 feet. The taller the mass, obviously, the less it's going to collapse down. Even the shorter mass at 22 feet only collapses down to about five and a half to six feet. So it is definitely heavier than the other two mass, 
but if you really need to support a heavier antenna, you can't pick a better option. Now, there's uh, a few different ways that you can support this type of mass. One, again, I'm using the bumper mount mass holder on the front of my Jeep. You can also use something like a drive-on mount or TN07 offers a tripod for this guy. Now, when you combine that tripod and the mast, you are really talking about some weight to that. You're gonna need a pickup truck to move that combination around. But if you need absolutely rock solid support, that's definitely the way to go. So there's a look at the three masts that I keep in my lineup. If I could only purchase one, the green mast is definitely the first one I'm going to purchase. This would probably be the second, as this is uh, my second most used mass. And this, I don't use a lot, but when I need rock solid support, this guy is my go-to. Thanks for tuning in today. If you found this information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.